welcome back to my kitchen where everything is scratch made and home preserved. I'm Jenny. Today I've got some fun recipes for you. This is my dry mixes part three and today I am going to be making some finishing salts and sprinkles. I don't know about you but every time I make french fries or sometimes potato chips or if I make a steamed vegetable I want a little bit of flavor with my salt on top so these are some of the things that I like to sprinkle on top of popcorn, french fries, vegetables, anything, meats. If you've done a steak and you just have melted some butter over the top and you want to sprinkle some finishing salts over, I have got some fun recipes for you today. So pull a chair up to my counter and let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is make some celery salt. And when I am making the salt flavors, I like a little bit more of the um, spice than I do the salt. So I'm going to actually put the celery into the grinder. That was probably half a cup. And then I have some coarse ground sea salt that I'm going to be using for all of my um, salts. Well, most of them. If I change it, I'll let you know. I'm going to add a third a cup. So there is my celery salt. Also, I want to point out, you can grind your salt more coarse ground or you can do it fine, whatever you want to do but this will be nice to use on the rim of Bloody Marys, all kinds of stuff. Or if you just wanna sprinkle the celery salt atop some of your food or add it in as part of your recipe, whatever you like to do with your celery salt. It's just nice to have some that you put up yourself. The next one I'm gonna make is jalapeno salt. This one I don't need quite as much of. So I'm gonna put an eighth of a cup of the salt in here. And then here is my jalapeno. Actually, <laughs> I think I'll put that in. I'll just grind the salt. That's a little bit more coarse. I thought better of it putting the jalapeno powder in there. Holy moly. And here is an eighth of a cup of my jalapeno powder. I keep my, I'm getting kind of low here, but I keep my jalapeno powder in a jelly jar. And then of course I'm just gonna mix this together. Okay, so my jalapeno salt is half and half, which to me is a good ratio, because this stuff is actually pretty spicy. There is my jalapeno salt. The next one I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a rosemary lemon salt. So I'm gonna put a third a cup of salt. And again, this is like the really big salt. So if you have smaller salt, you're gonna wanna put in less. Um, I have rosemary. I am going to put almost a quarter cup of rosemary in. Remember, these are finishing salts, so they're not something you're going to be um, using a ton of. And then I have some Valencia orange peel. I am going to fill this the rest of the way up with that. And I'm just going to give this a quick whirl. And there it is. This smells so good. Rosemary orange salt. This would be really good over chicken, any poultry. I wish you could smell this, it smells amazing. Now 
Next one I'm going to make is some garlic salt. I love garlic salt, but um, I like more garlic than salt. So I'm going to put in, I'm going to assume this is a tablespoon and a half. That's about a tablespoon and a half of salt. And then I have a quarter, I'm going to put a quarter cup of garlic, but you know, I'm going to think I'm going to add a little bit more. Third a cup of garlic. Okay. So there's for my homemade garlic powder. Garlic powder, you can dehydrate your own garlic, or uh, in my case, I'm using this Thrive freeze-dried garlic because I have a whole bunch of it, and this stuff is so strong. But if I had um, gotten a good deal on garlic and dehydrated myself, I'd be using that. Okay, so here is my garlic powder, or garlic salt. <laughs> There's my garlic salt. You don't have to ground yours as fine as mine. You can leave them uh, coarse ground, but I kind of like the fine ones. The next one I'm gonna make is lemon and basil. I've got about an eighth of a cup of basil. I've got a fourth a cup of dried lemon peel. You can dehydrate this yourself. I'm gonna get these ground up before I put the salt in. Okay, now my eighth of a cup of salt. Okay, lemon basil salt. Sprinkle some on your french fries, on your fish, on your pasta, with your cheese. Fourth a cup of lemon peel. This is for the lemon and dill. About three tablespoons of dill. I'm also gonna put in a tablespoon of freeze-dried garlic. And then eighth of a cup of my salt. And there is my lemon and dill salt. Beautiful lemon and dill salt. Great for fish, great for salads. For all, for all of the herb salts, there are so many different combinations of herb salts that you can make. I'm not going to go through every one of them. Because I, you know, will only eat so many of them or there's certain things I like and certain things I don't like. But you can definitely make whatever it is you like and you can just use salt that's already coarsely ground enough. You don't need a grinder. You just, you can just mix it together. So you don't have to do them fine. They can be completely coarse. They could be um, just dried dill. You know, you don't really have to put it through a grinder. It's already small. But I am going to make French fry sprinkle right now. So for french fry sprinkle, I am using one quarter cup of the salt. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of white pepper. I've got a table or um, a fourth of a cup of parsley, dried parsley. And a couple tablespoons of garlic. A teaspoon of paprika and a half a teaspoon of cayenne. I forget, I need a tablespoon and a half of onion powder. Or I could have used freeze dried onions. I love this stuff, it's my favorite. I actually make it all the time. Anytime I make french fries. French fry sprinkle. These. I have the cute ball shakers for the ones I use constantly. This is something I use constantly.
The next thing I'm making is gremolata. I have a quarter cup of lemon peel in here. I'm gonna put a fourth a cup of parsley and about three tablespoons of garlic. I'm gonna put in an eighth of a cup of the salt. Okay, gremolata. Gremolata is something I use fresh constantly when I have it. But this is the next best thing. Again, all of this stuff you can go on anything. Vegetables, potatoes, proteins. Gremolata. I'm gonna make mushroom powder. I don't know if you've had Trader Joe's umami mushroom powder. I'm gonna make kind of something like that. Obviously, it's not gonna be uh, exactly like Trader Joe's. So I'm not making straight up mushroom powder, but you can. Any of these seasonings are completely up to you. Put in what you like. So that looks like Ooh, that's a very nice fine mushroom powder. I'm going to take some of it out. Look at that beautiful fine mushroom powder. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna mix it in this bowl, but I do wanna put some salt in, so I need to grind it. This is more like a flavor instead of a salt, so I think I'm gonna put in a tablespoon of salt. I don't want a lot. Okay, here's my beautiful mushroom powder in here. going to add two teaspoons of mustard powder, a half a teaspoon of cayenne. Trader Joe's doesn't have garlic in it, but I'm putting garlic in mine. I'm going to put two teaspoons of garlic in mine, and I'm putting in a tablespoon of onion powder. And that was probably to two cups of mushrooms. And then I have some dried ground thyme. If you don't have this stuff all ground up, you, of course, stick it in your grinder. I'm putting in a half a teaspoon of ground thyme. Again, use it on whatever you want. Vegetables, meat. I wanted a large jar of mushroom powder versus tiny salt jar. I will use way more of this. Okay, so I made the mushroom powder for cheaper than I could buy it. For sure. And a lot of it instead of a tiny jar. mushroom powder. The next one is, I'm gonna do like a pizza and pasta sprinkle. So I'm gonna take my freeze dried garlic, a good couple tablespoons of it. You can also use powdered garlic. I'm gonna put two teaspoons of onion powder, about a quarter teaspoon cayenne, 
eighth of a cup of parsley, eighth of a cup of Italian seasoning, and I'm going to put my eighth of a cup of salt in, or I guess a tablespoon. Pizza and pasta sprinkle. <clears throat> I also keep this one in a jar like this. And this is what I mix a lot of times with Parmesan cheese for pizza, or I just sprinkle it on top of the um, pizza with the Parmesan cheese. This next one, I have some tomato powder. Um, my camera cut out, but I have tomato powder and I put some um, Italian seasoning in it. You don't have to, you can just leave it plain, whatever you like. And then I just wanted to show you also, because I've been using um, my bag of sea salt. You don't have to use sea salt. I've just been using the sea salt because my daughter got a good deal on it and brought me a whole bunch. Um, but I have some smoked hickory salt here. And I'm gonna make smoked tomato powder. And again, these are finishing salts. So they are to sprinkle over the top of your already done dish so that you get that flavor. You can add smoked salt to anything. And this will be delicious. It'll be tomatoey and smoky. In this one, I just did equal parts. This next one, super easy. I'm gonna use kosher salt. I am going to use uh, almost a quarter of a cup. <clears throat> the other thing I'm gonna use is honey crystals. This one I'm gonna use, this one is from Thrive, so it does have some sugar into it, in it too. I think it's a mixture, but that's okay because it'll be great for finishing. And then I'm gonna put that little bit. That I... This will be excellent sprinkled over fruit. Then you get the sweet and salty flavor. Honey salt. The last one I'm gonna make, I am kind of making another like french fry sprinkle. You know, you could put it on french fries, you could put it on potato chips, you could put it on um, tortilla chips, you could put it on hash browns. I like to do potato sprinkle in particular because we like potatoes here and when the kids come on family day I always have snacks before food so it's usually like chips or fries or um, nachos or you know something fun that for family day. So in here I have a tablespoon of ranch seasoning mix. Now this you can use your homemade, you can use out of the packet, whatever you like. I am also going to use one tablespoon of kosher salt because this is a french fry sprinkle. So it's basically a salty. Celery powder. Oh yeah, I'm putting it in because this is buffalo. So I'm gonna put in a heaping teaspoon of celery powder. And then I have Frank's Red Hot, this shaky stuff. This is good by itself, but I think this will be better. Quarter, I'm putting the quarter cup in, and then I want to give it just a smidge more garlic powder. So I'm going to put in two teaspoons of garlic powder. This has a little bit of garlic. The ranch has a little bit of garlic, but it's never enough for me. <laughs> 
this will be delicious. Buffalo french fry sprinkle. Or this would be good on chicken tenders. Chicken nuggets, I don't know, vegan nuggets, whatever you want. FYI, this also gets a shaky. Something I will use a lot of. Okay, so here they all are ready for the cupboard. And I do have a large one of the mushroom powder. I made a bunch and I already used some uh, for dinner. It was just so good. I made beef stroganoff and I used a tablespoon and it was the um, easy beef stroganoff with the ground beef. I did not video it. It was just a quick thing. But I used a tablespoon of this mushroom powder in it and holy moly was that delicious. I like this mushroom powder because it has all the flavors in it. Um, you know, with the garlic powder we put in, the onion powder, the pep, um, pepper. I, I think I accidentally didn't film the pepper part for some reason, but um, the little bit of cayenne, all the stuff we put in. This is so good. I will always keep this in my cupboard from here on out. Not just plain mushroom powder, but this, you know, uh, mock umami. <laughs> Makumami powder. Um, and all of our salts and our sprinkles. Our buffalo sprinkle, french fry sprinkle, herb sprinkle. Finishing salts and sprinkles. This you can use in anything you can use on top of anything. Um, these finishing salts, of course, sprinkle on top of whatever it is that you want to sprinkle them on. Um, french fries, potatoes, casseroles, vegetables. Uh, you bring vegetables off the grill, this, these will be nice sprinkles to them. Jalapeno salt, um, sun-dried tomato, or the smoked tomato salt, um, lemon and dill for meats, um, steaks, fish, you name it. These are good for an array of things. And he, these are just 13 of them. 13 of the little possibilities. There are thousands of concoctions you can make. Use your imaginations. Make them lower salt if you like. I like mine to be a little bit lower salt and more flavor. Um, you can make them lower salt that way. That's the nice thing. So if you go to the store and you buy garlic salt, which I do not do, I don't use garlic salt. I made some, but I use more garlic than salt and because Robert likes to use garlic salt um, on his pizza. So I just made a little tiny bit. So um, he will go ahead and use that on his pizza. That's not something I use because I like more garlic than salt. So I use more garlic powder. Uh, obviously you've seen me use it a lot. But if that's something that you like, definitely. If you like onion salt, that's something I don't use either. But if you like onion salt, you can definitely make onion salt. Um, any kind of herb salts. Mix your citruses in. It's just awesome with all the possibilities. And this honey salt. I picked up a honeydew melon and a cantaloupe. And I can't wait to cut them up and use this on it. I also like uh, chili lime on it too. So uh, I buy that. I have some in the cupboard, so I didn't make any. But... You could also make that. <laughs> Endless possibilities. And I will say, these make beautiful gifts. So for Christmas time, if you want to give out get homemade gifts, the finishing salts and finishing sugars are an excellent thing to do. You could also do the same thing with sugar. Put different herbs in there. Put vanilla bean in there. Um, all kinds of sugars. Maybe I'll do a video on the sugars later on. But these are just to get you started. Those are the finishing salts and the sprinkles that I have for you today. But there are so many possibilities with these sprinkle recipes. I will put links to all of those recipes in the description box below for your convenience. Just click and print. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like videos like these and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out a lot and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. And again, I will link these recipes in the description box below for you. All of the products that I have used in my kitchen in an Amazon link below called My Kitchen Must Haves. So my grinder is listed in there if you're interested. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.